From EV batteries to solar cells to microchips, new materials have the potential to revolutionize technology. But discovering them usually takes months or even years of trial and error research. Today, uh, we're not just talking about the next big thing. We're diving into a realm where science fiction meets reality. Google, DeepMind's GNOME, and its sidekick A-Lab are not just changing the game, they're rewriting the rules of material discovery. Uh, so stay tuned because things are about to get real as we dive into the incredible world of GNOME and A-Lab. Imagine a world where discovering groundbreaking materials doesn't involve years of trial and error. That's the reality GNOME is bringing to the table. It's like having a crystal ball for materials, predicting structures for a jaw-dropping 2.2 million new materials. And here's what's interesting. Over 700 of these predictions have not just stayed on paper. They're being synthesized and tested as we speak. It's like science fiction, but it's happening right now. Gnome isn't alone in this journey. Enter Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory's autonomous lab, the Robin to Gnome's Batman. This autonomous lab is a tech marvel using machine learning and robotic arms to engineer new materials without needing human intervention. It's not just a tool. It's a partner in crime signaling a new era of AI-driven scalability and material discovery to grasp the full impact of GNOME. Let's draw a parallel with AlphaFold's success in predicting protein structures. GNOME has catalyzed a tenfold increase in known stable materials, totaling a mind-boggling 421,000. Google DeepMind stresses how crucial this is given our limited knowledge of only a few tens of thousands of stable materials. Gnome is here to redefine the material exploration game. Traditional material discovery is like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but Gnome is here to turn the haystack into a gold mine. It's not just using one deep learning model, it's wielding two. On the first one generates over a billion structures by tweaking existing materials, while the second predicts the stability of new materials based solely on chemical formulas. It's like having a superhero duo broadening the scope of possibilities and making the exploration process more efficient. All right, here's a plot twist. Gnome wasn't always this precise in the beginning. It's a uh, stability predictions were hanging around 5%, but through a journey of continuous learning, it evolved the final results. Over 80% accuracy for the first model and 33% for the second. Chris Bartell, a professor at the University of Minnesota, emphasizes Gnome's size and training on a colossal amount of data, setting it apart from the pack. And the story doesn't end with success. Gnome is all about that continuous improvement. The deep learning models undergo iterative refinement, learning from each discovery and incorporating that knowledge into the next round of training. It's like having a personal trainer for artificial intelligence, pushing the boundaries of material stability prediction. So let's talk about bringing Gnome's discoveries to life. A lab, Berkeley Labs Autonomous Laboratory is like the wizard behind the curtain. This high-tech marvel seamlessly integrates GNOME's discoveries with materials, project information. Using robotics and machine learning, A Lab autonomously formulates and synthesizes materials. And guess what? It's not just doing experiments. It's performing a whopping 355 experiments over just 17 days with a success rate that puts traditional labs to shame. A Lab is a speed demon when it comes to performing experiments. Compare that to traditional labs that take months or even years to produce materials. A-Lab's rapid experimentation is like hitting fast forward on material synthesis. Uh, what sets A-Lab apart is its autonomy. It independently decides how to create a proposed material, generating up to five initial formulations. These formulations come from a machine learning model trained on existing scientific literature showcasing A-Lab's adaptive learning. It's like having a lab that not only does the experiments, but also learns and improves from them. So uh, what does all of this mean for the future researchers at DeepMind and Berkeley Lab are predicting a revolution in hardware innovation across various sectors, including energy and computing. And here's a cool tidbit. Gnome's impact on lithium ion battery conductors is huge. Uh, it identified 528 potential conductors, potentially boosting battery efficiency. From batteries to computer chips, ceramics to electronics, the possibilities are mind blown. Um, but hold on, we're not done yet. Despite these groundbreaking discoveries, the transition from identification to commercialization usually takes decades. And guess what? Google DeepMind is aiming to cut that timeline down to five years. Imagine the industry is revolutionizing at warp speed. And here's where it gets even more exciting. Chris Bartel, 
not even directly involved in the research, sees these materials identified by GNOME as game changers across a spectrum of technologies. The combo of GNOME and ALAB is like the dynamic duo of material discovery. So as these AI tools reshape the landscape, the future promises faster, more efficient innovation, especially in critical areas like clean energy. The impact of GNOME reaches beyond the lab, offering a sneak peek into a future where technology evolves faster than we can imagine. Uh, so hang on a second. As AI takes a front seat in scientific endeavors, we can't ignore the elephant in the room, ethical considerations. With great power comes great responsibility, right? Researchers and policymakers need to tread carefully, ensuring responsible and equitable use of AI-driven material discovery. The benefits are huge, but so are the responsibilities. Now, here's the exciting part. The success of GNOME and ALAB opens up possibilities for collaboration. Imagine tech giants, research institutions, and policymakers coming together to accelerate technological advancement. It's like the Justice League of Innovation working towards a shared future. And let's not forget about education. As AI becomes a cornerstone in material discovery, educational institutions need to keep up. We need a new generation of scientists who are well-versed in the intricacies of AI-driven research. It's about nurturing a future where human intelligence and artificial intelligence dance together seamlessly. In essence, the tag team of GNOME and ALAB isn't just a technological milestone. It's a societal one. The effects of accelerated material discovery go beyond labs, shaping industries, economies, and the very fabric of human progress. We're on a journey towards a future defined by rapid innovation, and these pioneering technologies are leading the charge. And there you have it. The mind-blowing saga of GNOME and ALAB. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of material discovery, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more AI tech updates, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out. Uh, this is AI Nexus. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the other side.